All right. I'm uh, sad to have to broach this question for this particular film review here, boys. Phil Mackey and two former Vikings, Jeremiah Searles and Alex Boone. But um, I feel like we might have reached the end of the pastronaut age of Vikings football. I think the pastronaut may have may have landed on Monday night against the Bears. That's my concern. Ah, oh, man. I, I'm so torn. Because do we judge him off his first few or do we judge him but – I said it on a podcast earlier today that I do. It's a what have you done for me lately league. It always has been, and it always will be. No one gives a shit what Josh Dobbs did against the Atlanta Falcons and how great it was and how cool it was and how special it was. What did you do against the Bears? Right. And some of it was not all his fault, but a lot of it was. And when you play quarterback in this league, a lot of it falls on your shoulders. Well, you just said it right there, Jay. The minute you take over a team and you become the quarterback, whether you are the franchise quarterback or not, you are under the most scrutiny ever. And at the same time, I don't – I agree with you. I don't think all those turnovers were his fault. But, dude, four turnovers in a game that should have been – it's just yeah. not one of those. I just – Let's I dive gonna, in. And I agree with you. I'm not going to say that it's over, but at the same time, it's like, where are we going? Yeah. What are we? And they have a bye week? week to sort of figure it out here. But I mean, by the way, if you're new here, if you're just stumbling into the O line committee, uh, I bring uh, as a fan here. I bring film clips and things that I think are interesting, and then these guys, actual experts, let us watch film with them and break down what uh, what they're seeing here. So let's. All right, let's take a look here. This is. Gonna, I don't know if this is going to be therapeutic for Vikings fans or if it's going to be just sad. Probably and more infuriating. Probably yeah. infuriating. Let's learn. Bit. Let's let's use it as a learning session here. Okay. I'll click that. I'll, as you break into this, I'll I will caveat this film breakdown. This was probably Christian Derrissaw's and Brian O'Neill's worst game of the year. Yep. Yeah, not not a good uh, not a great uh, time Mon- for that. To Montez happen. Sweat is rejuvenated this Bears defense. Yeah, and they've been. I mean, the Bears' run defense has actually been really good the last like month and a half. Ah, have fix it, Jesus, Ed Ingram, oh, man, <laughs> buddy, 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 buddy. So yeah, here we go. Pause. We as we look here, what do we have? Seven up. So yep. We got a lot of guys up. We're pointing out. We know that we're going to be a five zero somewhere across the board. I'm assuming we're going to be here, two to the left. Dalton Riser is going to take fifty three. Yep, and we're going to fan out because we would never put a back on a big. So as we get out here, what are we seeing on the right side? We should be alert of a twist. Why? Because they've gotten us out in this massive space. Go back real quick. Go back. Ingram, yikes. The minute any two defensive tackles, defensive ends, want us to go out into this crazy zone of space, you have to start thinking twist. Why? Because they know that the farther you come out here, the more you're going to start to turn, which will technically win in their favor because then you can't pass the twist off. So they're fanning out here. And it's not bad in the beginning, but what happens is Ed Ingram ends up getting two turned right. One more frame. Oh, yeah. There, right there. The minute you include your left shoulder, it is extremely hard to drop and come back and pick this guy up. And this little bit of pressure, we just broke down the Eagles game with Espinessa coming in. The minute that they see a color that they don't like, that white color jersey, they start to freak, and he's out of the pocket right now. Hmm. It's yep. just a good job on a twist. It's a good job on a twist stunt. You know, how do you fix that, right? That's the next question. This is not a bad initial set by Ingram at all. No. But what he needs to do here is he can't include his left hand, right? When they're this wide and they're not coming to you, like you can't you can't chase them, right? He's just going to the B gap. Right there, Brian O'Neill's in fantastic position. Yeah. He's square. One, one arm here and stay open, right? Yeah, you pass him with your left hand, right? Because O'Neill's right there. He's not He's not penetrating. He hasn't split you guys, right? If he splits you, then, yeah, you got to put two hands on him. You just got to pass him with one hand there and settle back with some depth, right? Settle back with some depth and be able to square this guy up. It's just a very nice job. They only end up sending three or four, excuse me. They send four. And when you send four and you get home this quickly, it's really hard to let the routes develop because he's trying to get through his reads, but he's got dies at his feet, and then this dude runs the hump and gets down. Like that's a tough one on Dobbs, but they got to play better up front. Is that sweat? Was that sweat that got the sack? Um, I don't think so. What number is sweat? 90, 91. 98. No. Nah. Yeah, 98. 98 did get it. Yeah, that's a great job of him of running the hump too, slotting hands, dude. I'm telling you. Simple twist, get home, it starts making people get nervous. I'll tell you this, Vikings fans, when you're watching this, expect a lot more twists. 
Yeah. Once they get home on one, it becomes a twist frenzy. Oh, Jordan Addison. So, and this is this is something a little bit behind the scenes, and this is something that Tony and a lot of the old school coaches in the NFL used to say is that if, you've, if a twist ever got home, you'd open Pandora's box. They'd be like, you guys don't ever want to open that box because the minute you show them that a twist can get home, everything is now twist, twist city. A twist can be coming around the corner any pass play, and it just puts everybody on super high alert. So this is a clean pocket. Yeah, this is a very clean pocket. This, this is, is just a great not a good job. throw. It's also a great job by the by the field corner. No, number thirty, Jaylen, by, uh, Johnson. Yeah, I mean number thirty three here. He has Powell initially, and he's reading the quarterback's eyes. Right, he passes it to his linebacker here, or the guy that was in the nickel, and then just sinks. This is a great job by him of just baiting. He baits Josh Dobbs into this throw. Right, this throw has to either be way earlier. Right, the throw's a little late, but this is a great job. Like the ball needs to be gone now. Yep. Right, like that—that that half a second that he allows to come underneath here allows him to sink back in this, and this is just a great, a great play by this field corner. And this is this is a weird play too, because this is the one with the flag where the dude lost his face mask, isn't it? Yeah, well, he was getting punched on the sideline. That's what I'm That's like. Right. Wait a minute, and they were trying to explain to him that he took it off because it was broken, and I was like, man, this is. The officiating. That's right. That's right. Shit. They flagged him. He's got a, a mangled helmet. His like, mangled helmet. Put your like, mangled helmet off. back on. 15 no, yards. Hey, go back real quick. Like you said, Mackie, this is a good pocket, right? Like we've gone back, and I agree with you. Montez Sweat has rejuvenated <laughs> this defense to getting after quarterbacks. <laughs> Perfect. We've got an empty stomach full of water. Easy yeah, how bad do you have to pee right now, Jay? It's getting close. Eyeballs okay. are starting to float. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going with a simple loco. Great pocket. Passing it off to Bradbury. Love this. Go in motion. They obviously want to stay in an over, probably because they're trying to avoid the run coming at them. Yep. Comes it's a good there. job by Ed Ingram taking on that one on one. Especially the when you're just that a little late. Around like a the ball's jackass. just late. This this ball needs to be a half second earlier and you maybe fit it over that corner's head. If he if he had been in the system for like two full years, would that ball be late? You would hope that's not. My, that's my you question. would hope not. You know, like, we don't know, dude. He's too young to know. But he doesn't. He might not get that chance. Yeah, no, at this point, it's, so. it's hard. I mean, and it's, it's not a, super fair to him. But at the same time, when you're the starting quarterback, man, you got to make those throws. Here we go, baby. This is a guy. I, I mean, you tell me, but this no, this, this is not this, his this, fault. On this Addison. is on Addison. If this is a you, spear, you he's dead. Face, man. If this yeah. is a spear, you're picking it out of your <laughs> eyeballs, hey, dude. So check this out. I was at the game, and I was as we were there. I saw it on the TV, and I think somebody was like. Well, he just really zipped it in there, and I was like, well, what the hell do you want him to do? <laughs> yeah, Aikman, Aikman you want him to throw that. him a rainbow? Like, dude, you got to catch that ball. Yeah, you're over the middle. you got guys flying around. This is so, a great hey, pass by Dobbs. We're showing, showing pressure up front. We get everyone to bail. we got a nice pocket. Literally hits him right in the face. Yeah, if it's a spirit, it would have killed him. Dude, I'm, it's, you got to And that's where that. it's like, you got to be like, uh, turnovers. Like, that's not on Dobbs. No, that's no. not that, that. That's a great. That's a great read by him, and that shows his arm strength being able to put it in there where it needs to go. Got to yeah. catch that one. P, so PFF has a stat called turnover worthy plays. That would not have been a turnover worthy play no. on Dobbs. No, 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 no. no, no. Right. That's just a great throw. All right, here, here we, we go. go. Showing pressure again. Bail out. Coming. Clean pocket again. Another unfortunate off that's of just KJ another great Osborne play by, this time. That was uh, that Jalen Johnson. He was everywhere. Did, did he get his? This, is, this looks a little behind him. I, you tell me, but all right, we'll look at it. We'll look at it. Let's go let's slow this down here. I mean, and again, if you're th- the problem is when you're throwing, you're throwing over the middle. There are safeties and other players that if you if it's behind the receiver and it bounces up in the air because it's inaccurate, it's going to get picked, right? Like it's not it's not like throwing an out route. Once again, nice job again. Clean pocket. pocket. He's draped, man. That's tough. It, it, that's a no, tough one, you, but he had a but, great game. But I mean another another one. I mean, you put this too far out in front of him, the safety's going to decapitate him. Yeah. Right. Like th- you got to be a little bit smarter. But yeah, that's. I mean, go back. Was there anyone else open? Like, is that the right read? Right. Let's look at it from his eyes. Like he's watching as this is happening in in real time. He, that's probably his first read on this because of the way the linebackers bail. But when they got a guy that draped and there's not a ton of separation, you're right, Mackie. The ball has to be in perfect placement. But I think he makes the right read. He starts Look, left. He's looking he starts left. left, right? That's covered initially. Like, no one's really open, right? Hawk isn't even out of his break yet. He's open right there. We could say the ball's – I don't know, man. That, that's a tough one for me. I think he makes the right read. It's just good yeah. defense again. Yeah. 
Interesting. Let's uh, let's roll here. I got a couple more for you. As we, this is therapeutic, Vikings fans. Okay, this is we're. Matt, you got a bye week. This is this is it's sure. bye week. It's self reflection week here. Okay, that's what this is mm. in the NFL. All right. All so right. Vikings are. So we're actually going back here. Hey, I think way, we're going back in the first half here. For these. Uh, okay. There we go. Barn burner. <laughs> <laughs> it really was just an absolute. It was Iowa Nebraska. That's exactly what it was. Oh, no, 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 no. that. Oh, that should have been six points. Same front here, though, right? We saw it earlier. Guys out wide. Oh, just to clear right, it up. Exact, exact same Don't flight. Them. Exact same exact same area. Expecting twist. Expecting movement. They bail out of here again. Curious to see if they twist again. This time they bring it through. Nope. They they no straight twist. rush. They straight rush this time. Oof. Ah. Uh, go back. But even then. That's a long Let me see throw. Where he is. Dude, hash to hash, hash to sideline. That's a long throw in the NFL with corners that run 4 2. It sure is. Especially when. Like, if you, that's Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes type arm strength. And I'm not knocking on Dobbs. But I don't. He gets hit a little bit, but even if he puts this right where it needs to be, I think that's still getting picked. That, that, that's definitely not the right read. He, that's a bad read by Josh Dobbs. Yep. That's rough. Uh, that's here we ballsy. go. Three to nothing. <laughs> Red late zone. In the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, at so I think one this point, is late, Troy late in the second, but pretty much. scoring baseball game. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> That's great. The Wilfs were not happy about that. I saw their face. <laughs> See, this type of stuff you. here, these little, like, just throw the ball up to nobody and hope that you don't get called for grounding. Hope they, they, This is the type of stuff. I don't think you can do this. No. You definitely can't. This dude. is this is also this is a really hard thing to do when you put your your tight end on a true defensive end and you don't move the pocket. Like this is back where KOC's got to help him out a little bit, right? They go full slide here. They they slide everyone right. They bring Josh Oliver across, right? Come across. They're gonna have him try and block this dude on like not even lined up in line of scrimmage movement blocking. This dude's just gonna run right through you. Like I'm just bigger than you. You've talked about it. Die yeah, a slow death. That. Oh you have to God. die a slow like, death. That's you you got to die a slow death. But if someone's not open right away on your first read, you're asking for trouble. And these aren't great red zone options because if things break down, there's not a lot of answers, right? You can't go. Everything's so condensed and tight in the red zone. I don't love this block scheme. Josh Oliver is a great blocker, but one on one against a defensive end in a drop back situation, like I don't love that that situation that he got put in there. Yeah. What like, is the answer here? I guess. Play right it now. out. I mean, play it out, right? Like, right now, there is no answer. Everyone's yeah, covered. You swing it like, you Powell. can go to Powell. You can go to Powell. That's your quick or answer. You to, is that Madison? No, that's yeah, Madison. Oh, no, top right. Top right. Top right. Over the gotcha, 20. Gotcha, yeah, you, gotcha. you could yeah, swing yeah. it out to Madison and say, hey, to somebody. That's, your, that's your answer. You swing it out to Madison right there and say, go, go beat the corner in a one-on-one -on -one situation and score. But yeah. at the same time, am I mad at him for trying to make a play? No. No. Like, you got to do what you got to try and do. You just have to be very cognizant of the ball and what's and, and going under, on. And understand, right Like right here, like, just Dead. tuck it. Just tuck, tuck it. Dude. Live to fight another day. <laughs> right? Like, live to fight it. Live to fight another day. Yeah. It's just, it's okay. It's a sack. It sucks. You're just not out of field goal range yet. But that's just, again, comes back with a backup quarterback trying to prove that he's a starter. Right? right. That's, that's a prove it to the entire league type of throw. Oh, God. And this one, too. This one... <sighs> I don't Hold know. on. Look at, the route. look at the I routes. Look at the routes again. From behind. The, the, I want to look at the routes because for me, like where Four. you got to throw it. Powell. It's got to go now. to Powell right now, right throw now. It now, like it's got to go to Powell right now, or it's got to go to Addison right here, and you got to speed it between these two guys on the forty yard line. No, go to Powell. You're looking right at him. And the problem is, go back. He feels and sees the pressure. Throw the fucking ball to Powell. What is the problem? <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding you. Like, this is one of those things where, like, you're beating your head the whole game. Dude, I was at this game, and I was like, please, somebody score a fucking touchdown. <laughs> throw the ball right now. Don't and that, try that, but that throw, too much But that throw happen. to Powell, he gets blown up for a no gain. I mean, better than a no sack, blown up yeah, for I, an I interception. Yeah, dude, there's see, no good this options. Is, it, this, and this shit drives me nuts, dude. It's, like, maddening because it's like, dude. I know we all see what you see. He's going to get lit up. But if you don't throw that ball to him, you're eating a sack or you're giving them the ball back. This and is also this is, exactly this, is this is Darisaw and Dalton Reisner not playing well either, right? This is supposed to be out quick. So if you go back, Darisaw is trying to jump set this guy, right? So the idea is to jump set. Now he goes way too wide on this dude, way too wide, right? Darisaw needs to go right down to the inside via this dude's neck if you're going to jump set this guy, right? He takes one way out there. And then, and then, like, so he's immediately giving up. Dalton Reisner is getting pushed back. 
And then right there, Dalton Reisner's got two guys on him. And, like, I get, again, what you're trying to do here, but it's just danger, right? Yeah. Danger. Like, in a game like this, like, in a game like this, eat the sack, punt it, trust your defense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah seriously, it's, so it's not like their offense is going crazy. Right. It's like, it, it'd be like, you got to understand a little situational football, what's going on here. Here's one more for you guys. And then I promise we'll make it. Play tonight. action. Look at this. This is, I mean. This one hurts dude. so bad. Okay, pause. I'm at the game. He catches the ball. Yeah, here's Alex I right s- here, actually. Right. <laughs> no, no, I was on the other side. I'm not even kidding you, and I'm going to get hit with a big fine for this, but I may have been sitting five feet from the owners. Ding! Oh, wow, was. look at you. So self suck. Totally. <laughs> he catches Fine. this ball. The entire place goes crazy. <laughs> the guy next to me looks at me and goes, I think he was out of bounds. I was like, there's no fucking way he was out of. He threw that ball out of bounds. He goes, dude, I'm almost positive. He stepped. See, people way are out saying that he should have caught this. I don't think so. No, dude. This is more. This is more. This on Dobbs. is more on Dobbs than Addison. Do First of how- all, put it in the end zone. Oh, right? That, right. That's for me. Is like, why are you trying to foot this? Like on, like right here. You step up. You have plenty of time. Right there. Put it in the end zone. Yeah, like, put it. I mean, couldn't you put it like the right safety? Here? Yes. This, that's what I mean. Put it. Put it. Like make him go catch this on the five yard line. Walking into the end zone, right? The safety already bit. Go back to the white copy. And for anyone saying that he should have caught that, you go catch that, okay? <laughs> I want to see you tightrope okay. your ass down the sidelines, running away from a safety. Right. See the safety bites. The safety bites right here. He he's too concerned with this middle player. Like that whole right there. He's not. He's level with him. Yeah. Right. He's right. level with him. You're not trying to fit it between a hole shot at this point. Just let him outrun the safety. Right, the safety's flat-footed on the same plane as him. This dude's going to run right by him. This is Dobbs just needs to make this throw. The protection's good. He climbs the pocket like he's supposed to. Now, you feel this read right here? Like Before the ball's gone, you know he's got him beat, and the safety's standing on the hash. Mm-hmm. Throw it to the five-yard line and let him go score a touchdown. Yeah. This is, these, these are, you can't miss these throws in the NFL. Backup quarterback or not, you can't miss those throws. Those are game-losing Oof. throws. Those are game-losing throws. Yeah. Yeah, that was wow. tough. I never heard that. That's uh, it's a fact. No, I think they may have actually recovered. Didn't they recover on that drive and score a touchdown? But still, like, doesn't do you go? You go score there. It puts all the pressure on Justin Fields and that offense that hasn't agreed. done dick all all night. And it gets the juices flowing probably yeah, for you the, guys. The, right? build, the building erupts. Dude, right, the building finally has something to be excited shot. about. That place goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. But so well, what, appreciate you guys going through this therapy session. Sorry, Mac. With us, I'm trying to sorry, figure buddy. it out. Yeah. If you guys enjoy these film breakdowns on the O-Line Committee YouTube channel, click that like button and the subscribe button and uh, give us suggestions on other things you'd like to see these guys break down and pull back the curtain on. Okay, we can allow Jeremiah, who's on like uh, a on an three and a half hour day water fast, fast, baby, to go take a leak here. <laughs> Appreciate you all. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the likes. We're growing this thing. Uh, hit the like, subscribe. Love you. See you guys.